10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. At the age of six or seven, I started to help Bill Haley and Roy Rogers and Gene Autry. I can, that's the first place I remember hearing a guitar was Gene Autry strumming. At the age of nine, I got a wooden guitar. And um, Fender guitar came into Cork, and I was lucky enough I got it. You know, it's 15 years HP, and it served me well. I still have it. Um, but just, I, I don't know. I just, so I just liked singing. I liked the music on the radio, and I just, I know, I could just see that's what I wanted to do. Ladies and gentlemen, Rory Gallagher.
songs I sang were, were sort of uh, takes a worried man to sing a worried song and um, bring that water Sylvie Lonnie Donegan stuff um, and a couple of sort of rock and roll things it's just through Donegan I heard people sort of like you know Lead Belly he did some and Woody Guthrie and um, so I kind of followed that line and followed the sort of Buddy Holly Chuck Berry Muddy Waters Delta Blues it's like you know I just opened up interests that way can't see. At one stage, I wanted to be a footballer and a cowboy, like any other kid. But really, I mean, since the age of six, I mean, I wanted to be a musician. And it's just maybe it's, I, it's probably a bit more of a musician thing with me. I'm just quite happy being a musician. I first left Ireland sort of in a show band to do the Irish circuit in England uh, at the age of 15, I think. And, uh, and then came back here and worked in the show band and then made various trips with 
this show band was called the Impact Show Band, and uh, went to Spain. We just tried to get work wherever we could. We couldn't get that much work here because we were doing sort of we weren't a Jim Reeves show band at the time. We were doing sort of what we thought was pretty far out, doing sort of uh, Chuck Berry and a bit of Georgie fame, and we still did a bit of the show band stuff. But um, that eventually finished for me because I wasn't. I just wasn't happy there. So um, I went to Germany then, that was the mid 60s, with the drummer and bass player of the show band, split up at the same time. And, uh, you know, played the clubs there for a while, came back to Ireland and just played around no particular group. And then um, formed the first taste in 66, um, because at that stage, the group scene had bubbled up enough where, you know, you could actually point out good musicians, and I got two good musicians from a group from Cork called the Axles. But before that, it was, there was plenty of interest in this sort of music, but it was kind of hidden in show bands and hidden in, in school halls, fellas playing after school, and no one could afford a bass guitar, and, and of course you couldn't get all the records that you'd like to get. But I suppose it's built up quite a bit since that. The actual formation of the test, I feel, was was the break because I had musicians who kind of thought alike, and and we um, the sheer enthusiasm that and, and the joy of having a group at all was good enough. We played Ireland, we went to Germany, and then we called back through England, and uh, we just built it up in Ireland and eventually moved to England. There was no, I suppose, the main break was was the Marquee Club in England. It it sort of um, it was a, a residency, and. It was a big break for anyone at the time because you could build up every Tuesday night a crowd and of course it was a place where various agents and so on would be there and uh, promoters from clubs all over the place. So that was the real break, I think. I'd seen her in the dark Well, I feel like snapping my pistol in your face I'm gonna let the graveyard be your resting place And but two kind of people in this world that I can stand And that's a lying woman and a cheating knocky man You didn't say you didn't love me when you were stretched out across my bed you're drinking moonshine whiskey and talking all out of your head. Hey. Well, I feel like snapping my pistol in your face. I'm gonna let the graveyard be your resting place And but two kind of people in this world that I can't stand And that's a lying woman and a cheating knocky man Well, I'd know my rider if I'd seen her in the dark. Present day musicians I'm listening to aren't really playing the same stuff. I'm kind of interested. I like I like that kind of folk side of things, the sort of the steel eye span and people like that. But if, for sort of direct contact with the sort of music I play, I listen to the older blues artists. The, you know, all the different. Some some weeks I just listen to 1950s Chicago stuff, and then I move on to um, you know a bit of Sunhouse, the Delta stuff or something. But then again, you might. 
a month later, you move, might move back and say, oh, God, I got it, listen to Eddie Cochran or something like that. You just kind of go through different cycles. Yeah. But the, 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 I think the modern, contemporary, the steel eye type thing that they're bringing out is interesting. I can listen to a lot of music um, and you'll enjoy it and it's satisfying and all that, but then you just wake up one day and you say, you know, there's something missing. You've got to hear the real, whatever it is, that gut thing. And then you put it on and it's like relief. And then you can sort of start to listen after the relief. It's just an essential thing you have to hear and play. That, that gut thing that's in, in, the, in the blues, you know. I don't know what it is and I don't intend to try and analyse it. It's just, I know I've got to hear it like some people have to hear Stravinsky or the Dubliners or anything else. I don't know where I've been But I haven't seen my baby since I don't know when Well, I'm walking down that long road With a smile upon my face A broken hearted but you won't see a trace Well, I'm feeling disconnected These blues are out to kill to Put them in the corners with them in the bin All right, so you don't sympathize don't expect well, that you should but Stay bright for one day You might run into this patch of gray cloud too That you should but stay bright for one day You might Run into this patch of grey cloud too Well I'm feeling disconnected But these blues are out to kill Put them in the corner Sweep them in the bin I got sand here in my pockets From the place that I come from Well that is where I'm going So I'll say so long So long Thank you. I do all that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think about it, but uh, I'm in no hurry. I like to stay foot loose for a while yet, anyway. But you can never tell when you're going to be caught. Well, did you ever? Well, did you ever? Well, did you ever? Well, did you ever?
sick today and he couldn't come over so please a special welcome for Rod D is here call up the doctor boss 